Welcome back to Dead Space. Our current goal is to plant an SOS beacon on an asteroid in the mining bay, and then untether the asteroid and launch it so that the signal can actually reach somebody. Triple heal. Power node. Did I miss one? There's not many places it could be. Maybe I need to take the one from out here? Oh, right, they got the armor. I think this is better than the claw. So much flamethrower fuel. Oh, looks like both the pathways lead to the same thing. This is a hell of a scene. So cool. I remember this was really cool even in the original. But it's even cooler here in the remake. Ah! Come back. If I touch the electric beam, is that gonna just, like, make me explode? Perhaps I shouldn't test it. Oh yeah, I can burn it open. If I remember right, 
I can stasis this thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, there's some bits that it reveals that I need to shoot. That was horribly aimed. Maybe one of these will work. Okay, so... What now? Did I only need to destroy the one thing on this? I guess. Just plant the beacon. Okay. So avoid getting scraped off the asteroid by those spiky things. Just out of curiosity, if I launch one of these... Oh! Oh, there's another tether up there. I see. Uh, yeah, if I launch one of these into there, it is... Uh, okay, that does nothing. I need to go outside for those. Am I meant to plant it before I undo all the tethers? Like, I, I guess so, because after we undo all the tethers, the asteroid's gonna fly away, right? So we better plant it first. so cool that you can just go out here. Oh yeah, that's where it goes. And I don't think the spiky things come around the back. No. so cool that you can just come out here into space. Oh, fuck. It's so hard to hear these bastards in space. Okay, is it just gonna fly away? Payload 8772 is no longer tethered. Untrained personnel must leave the mining bay immediately. Or do I have to, like, launch it? Yeah, I have to launch it. How's that gonna work? Do I just, like, lug an explosive at it? Or do we have tractor beam type things that can do it for me? Isaac, you got 20 seconds of air left. You'll be fine. Come on. So dramatic.
Messaging zero gravity. Come on, I think I hear another one. In the vents? No? Noises. Okay, that looks pretty dangerous. Or they don't have to worry about enemies. I think they'll get torched. Um, I think I need this battery. I wonder if you get hit by the fire, if that's just instant death, or if it would just hurt you. I'm a little bit sad that I'm actually dying so infrequently, because I'm not seeing a lot of the death animations. What was that? Oh, just normal sparks. None of those abnormal sparks. The real nasty ones. Holy lag. Release the payload. I want to see it go. Oh shit, it's already gone. That's fast. Online broadcasting wide band. I'll align the receiver. This will take a minute. Head on back to the tram station. Oh, shit. Okay, that's why these are in here. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, fuck, it's you! I'm not going to waste ammo on it. I got it. Hit the manual release. Manual release? Manual release is ready. Oh. Oh, fuck. Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good. Fuck that room. Get me out of here. Sold some stuff and bought a couple more nodes. Now we've got three. Let's upgrade the flamethrower. Um, I'm going to go for this damage up here. Let's get capacity. Capacity. And damage going from 75 to 80. 
I find it kind of bewildering that so many weapons have so many capacity upgrades. Like, I don't feel like the capacity of the flamethrower is an issue. And yet I can still get two more capacities and even a special that greatly increases fuel capacity. Like, I don't need that at all. Oh, fuck. This thing's gonna follow me all the way to the tram. Um... Excuse me, excuse me! What's gone? I'm sure it'll be back. Those are just normal ones. Let them burn. Seven into the void complete. Chapter eight, search and rescue. Back here in engineering to find engineer Rousseau's rig for the side quest. Now that we have level three security access, should be able to get it. Clearance confirmed. That paints a picture. was probably them, huh? Uh. Error. Power routing malfunction. Please stand by. I'm sure that's fine. Now arriving at the bridge. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Isaac, 
A ship just shot in. The USM Valor. They must have heard our SOS. That fast? What's a military ship doing way out here? Out on patrol? Whatever. Right now I take a rescue from a fucking magpie. Head for communications. Once we fix the comms array, we can get all the answers we need. No, I don't buy it. Assuming the ship's real at all, it probably was... ...coming here because they want to clean up this PR disaster. They're probably hostile to us. Oh, something's wrong. on local comms. If whatever's wrong with the comms array is spreading... No, that's not it. So, uh, uh, the door to communications should be open. You can head down to the comms control station. And, Isaac, watch what you say. I think someone's listening in. Okay, for the, uh, Nicole side quest, we're supposed to find a report somewhere here on the bridge? Wait, why does it want us to go back out to the atrium? Oh, I think the report that Nicole filed is here. Log retrieved. Fine, then we'll waste more time and record this. Satisfied? No, I'm not satisfied. We have a dead miner. We can't sedate Bran Harris. Wasn't Harris originally your patient? Could have warned us that he'd go berserk. Captain, Harris is suffering from a dementia that we don't fully understand. He was making progress until Dr. Mercer took his case, over my objections. I've read them. And frankly, this, this vendetta against Dr. Mercer just sounds like more of your bigotry. My what? Do you deny that you've counseled members of our church and turned them against unitology? I'm telling you that Mercer's treatments are immoral and dangerous. And why does he keep taking Harris to hydroponics? Medical is a sanctuary, not Mercer's private lab, so stop covering for him. More accusations, and still no proof. You know your way out. He won't stop with Brian Harris, Captain. You know that. Tracking related rig activity. Investigate hydroponics. In hydroponics, not quite at the quest objective yet, but there is this door that I can go inside of now. Almost got sprayed with acid. I think this room is called Rare Specimens. Nice. Looks like this room just ahead is the one we need to get to.
Okay, things are glitching ever since the communication issues. Consoles and stuff are making weird noises. Oh shit, hi. Thank God. You don't mind me recording, do you? You'll lose language soon. It's so green here. The worst place to work discreetly. They keep poisons here that would never be allowed near medical, and now you're invulnerable to all of them. Cellular regeneration. Will I? If you try, Mr. Harris, I have options. The containment module, for example. Remember your last brain surgery? Stasis with consciousness? Quite useful. If only I hadn't wasted so much osmium on my last module design. <clears throat> and how do you feel now? Dead. Awake. Oh. And perhaps it's time for your first real hunt. You are extra strong. Yeah! Prototype stasis module. What does that do? What do I do with that? Did that finish the side quest? Yeah. Heading to communications now. Should be just up ahead. Hello? Oh, they still had one arm left. Ah, oh, there's another one. What if I just did, like... That. See if it really does anything. It's, like, sort of activating. Sometimes. Kinda? As they wiggle? Yeah, it did something. Not amazing. Yeah, so this place has overgrown even more since we were last here. Comms access hall. So 
Somebody's rig should be in here. Comms officer Bailey's rig should be in here. Oh, looks like it's just up here on the left. Wait, what? Why am I in the darkness? Oh, it's over here. And then to the left. to get yeah one more tram supervisor benson's rig currently inaccessible but we're almost there the valor's in a holding position how's the comms array <laughs> fry someone hot wired the dishes together and blew up the system so we're screwed no, it was sloppy work. Some of the dishes are intact. If I replace them and create a new circuit with no gaps, we could broadcast a signal. Short range only, but it should work. Okay, do it. I'll, uh, keep an eye on things here. Unsent message retrieved from array buffer. Progress report, Captain Benjamin Mathias to Paragon Jordan, Una. This will be my last transmission. Afterwards, I'll make sure our pilgrimage can be completed without interference. We have successfully brought the Holy Marker on board. Dr. Kine, an expert on the original marker, is deciphering its secrets. Uh, forgive me for quarantining you just seven. Director Eckhart's work may have been inconvenienced, but the suffering some sort of epidemic. Regardless, planet crack begins tomorrow on schedule. CEC can scratch out its illegal operation now that the true prize is ours. Let's see Earth go try to cover this up. Altman be praised. With eyes out. What a fool.
what do we got? No power to central node. So I think we just need a line of power to the center, uninterrupted. This one, for example, uh, connects with that like piece that's white. It'll connect those two. So for example, we put that here. Yeah, it'll connect that power up. Anything here in this meat hole? Secrets? You can get pretty deep in this meat hole for there to be no secrets. Jesus Christ. I hate it in here. There we go. USM Valor, widecasting on all frequencies to USG Ishimura in response to your SOS. You look like a supervillain, my dude. Number 47 and are en route to your position. This message will repeat every 30 seconds until you respond. Escape pod? The escape pod? Oh, fuck. The pod Hammond jettisoned. It had chip. That creature was inside. No, 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 no. USM Valor, come in. Come in, Valor. Oh, her signal isn't strong enough. Can we deploy the long range antenna? No, something's blocking the blast doors over the comms array. The hell? There'll be a manual release over at maintenance. I'll go. Keep trying to reach them. There's a... There's a thing. We're going back. Clever bastards. They put a thing that you need to grab really fast. 400 credits. That's not even that good, really. The comms relay crew. Personal log. E. Bailey, first comms officer. It happened again third time in the last however long it's been i came in after shift and found rousseau at the transmitter again they look like hell i don't know if they even slept since the last time i caught them in here not very reassuring to see the chief engineer in that state rousseau didn't hear me come in so this time i just listened they were talking to the relay crew again talking then listening they even laughed god 
How long's it been since anyone on this fucking ship laughed? I know I should say something to engineering. I've already told Rousseau, over and over, that we don't have a comms relay crew. That the array is broken beyond repair. That no one is coming to save us. And they listen. But it's like they can't keep those thoughts in their head. As if it's too much. I get it. Everything on the ship is too much. So this time I just let them talk. If a broken transmitter and a mic full of static gives them something to hold on to, maybe even helps them keep the ship running a little longer, who am I to judge? And yeah, maybe I've talked into the same transmitter myself once or twice after hours. Just in case. Like that poem says, Hope sings the tune without the words and never stops. At all. I haven't done much for the contact beam, so even though I don't use it that often, what the heck. Let's show it some love. Let's get capacity from 13 to 14. Let's get the primary fire damage, probably the most important one because that's the one I use most of the time. From 75 to 100. That's a pretty huge increase. And I mean, I guess I want to get these things over here, so I guess I have to get a reload time. Sure. Well, I think I'm going to end the episode here, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and when I return, we're going to deploy the antenna to try to save the Valor. <laughs>